Hello cellists and welcome to this seventh episode of this mini lesson series on Sebastian Lee's Opus 101. For this one we have a tune 7 and let's see what we have here. The first point of interest is that this etude is in the minor mode. It's the first one in the minor mode so far. The second point of interest is in the second system, in the second measure, where we have a legato from F sharp to a B. As you can see, this legato is on an up bow and it also uh, changes strings. So you have to make sure that you have a smooth transition from D string to A string and not do this but this is controlled by your right hand elbow which should transition very smoothly from D string to A string. The next point of interest is in the following measure when we have an E on the D string which is a down bow and then in the next measure we have a down bow again. We have talked about retaking but let's repeat here. We finish on this E and then we do a circular motion with the bow to be ready to play the, the B. So it will be four. The next point of interest is in the third system in the second measure, where we have again the main theme that we encountered in the beginning of the piece, but this time it will be played in the more bass strings, so you have a deeper sound. So you shouldn't play here superficially. But really um, seek this depth, this uh, cello sound in the lower strings. The next point of interest lies in the penultimate measure of the third system. There we have a quarter a quarter note rest, another quarter and another quarter note rest. We should be very careful of how we count this thing as well as how we play this thing. It will be a LA rest, LA rest. It should also not be But even though it is a rest, we should let the, the A ring inside the, the rest. And not... Okay. So let's see how this plays. So that's it for now, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, I hope you learned something new, and until the next time, happy practicing!